But and another Zelda. Here we go. Yeah, another Zelda. Good and Zelda, Zelda. 17, uh, very good player also. So, 100%. I mean, 100%. you can't always be hot. You say, like, he played maybe not so great last night, but... Just one bad day does not a bad player make. Of course. 17 is very good yeah. at, with this character. For sure. And against the Fox, I think that this is one of those characters that can actually make Fox sweat a little bit. Yeah, definitely. Just because you've got really fast out of shield options, you're able to kind of punish some of the things that ZD wants to really just consistently go for. And if you're able to mix up your options, like here, falling with the neutral B, there's a lot of things you can do to kind of just mess up his game plan, throw a wrench into his, into his uh, flow chart. Yeah, maybe using the Phantom as well, kind of just as a get off me option, like yeah. pressuring him into holding shield, and then maybe 17 can run into grab, Ooh. but that dash attack, unsafe, unsafe. on shield, unsafe. gonna get punished with that very strong up smash, the metal legs yeah. of Fox. <laughs> that's right. He literally sent you back into space, and that's kind of how it goes against this character. You know, it is going to happen eventually. ZD will find it because he has pr pinpoint precision with that end. Now, <laughs> the they both have reflectors. They can both do <laughs> the, a little bit of that. The reflector on this, the laser the was laser. just kind of funny to me. <laughs> hey, I'm not going to let you get that 3%, all right? Like, 3% makes a difference. It really does, especially as Fox. Like, 3% is the window, like, the difference between a window of Nair up smash connecting or yes, not. Yes, sir. Uh, okay, okay. Up being so to the other uh, platform just to get away a little bit. Right, kind of reset, maybe get some space. But, I mean, unfortunately, you lose stage control for that, so it is a trade-off. Right. Um, in this case, ZD will run all over it. He's hoping to catch something here with another up smash on ledge, but no, Z, uh, ZD getting caught a little bit. Now 17. I like the pressure with the Phantom, Yeah. but just not enough. It's just, like ZD, I almost feel like ZD just knows what to do. Yeah. Like, He's definitely setting up the Phantom in a good way, but right. ZD's doing a very good job of dancing around totally, it. Totally, totally. And this is the issue. If you can't edge guard Fox, sometimes it's an uphill battle. Yeah. Right? Like, once you get him off stage, that's the oh, time you've got to go for it. And ZD, if he's able to get back, he does stuff like this. Yeah, he really does. And that's the second stock we've now seen him lose to an unsafe option, getting punished by that up smash. Yep. And as good as some of uh, some of Zelda's options are, they're much faster on the upswing than they are on the end part of it. Yeah, so it's like you don't have a lot of safety on shield specifically, but um, those fast options can get you somewhere if you're using them. Yeah, and the up throw finally closing out that first stock. Uh, a whole stock deficit now for 17. Definitely it's still doable if he manages to rack up quick damage and get an early kill like we saw with Electrode with the forward air or back air. Yeah, you're right. that is a very strong sweet spot if you manage to connect it properly. Yeah, absolutely. But ZD with this, the Fox Vortex, man, you know? Yes, like up and down and all over the platform from side to side. Like, it is going to be a dangerous amount of damage that 17 has taken so far. And ZD just wants to pile it on with a couple more lasers. And right there, that's all it was. The yeah. window of opportunity was taken. Such good reaction time from yeah. ZD, just realizing that 17 was in a bad position, managing to land with that Nair and connected it right into the up smash. Mm. Very good at picking his moments, very good at knowing right. when to close out stocks. Absolutely. And again, that's the pinpoint precision, the accuracy that he's, he's has, has built up over a long tenure, a, a massive amount of experience. Um, and I'm sure he knows this matchup as well. So ZD, not bothered by the Zelda bus whatsoever, but no. we're taking it to FD. Now this is a good stage for some so for some Fox players. I think ZD does enjoy this stage a little bit, which is why obviously he's allowed this to, to, to come right. to fruition. But I'm sure for Zelda, this is one of the best stages you could go for. Yeah, uh, I mean, again, ZD, definitely a better player than me, so I trust his judgment, but this would have been an insta-ban for me against really? Really? Zelda. Okay, interesting. Like I said, I mean, I've seen foxes really like FD. Yeah. It can work because just as like Zelda wants to shark you a little bit, you're fox. You can absolutely do it. If their only option is to retreat back to ledge, you're gonna go for whatever you can on or off stage to just put the pressure on. And again, right. just a missed opportunity, but so much damage. It's almost not even, it doesn't even matter. It's worth it. Yeah, man. I mean, and you just keep seeing all of these options. ZD knows exactly what he's doing, oh. and he just, the, like, how did he know that 17 was going to go to stage with well, that Well, I don't think he knew. It was the reaction. That's <laughs> but he, the thing. But he ran away first. Yeah, he ran away first, <laughs> but it's like, you want to give him a wide berth just in case. It's always yeah. the option. But you always think, like, okay, well, maybe I'll catch a roll in or something like that. You want to set yourself up a little bit farther back so you can just keep your options yeah. open, right? You don't want to, like, put yourself in, like, a, a simple situation like right. that. Right. He's definitely very good at, like, uh, the option coverage, I guess, is, right. is the yeah, way to... Yeah, no, that's a good way to put it. Yeah. For sure, for sure. Good little up B out of shield to punish that unsafe neutral air, though. For and sure, for sure. 
that will be a much quicker stock this time for yeah, 17 than in game yeah. one. I was about to say, like, taking the first stock in, like, a minute and a half, that's really good. Like, you yeah. need to do that because it was, was something Ooh. that he was struggling uh, to do in the first game. Hey, and I mean, right now, looking very hot right now, able to nice. clean out this stock very quickly. Wow, now 17 in the lead has a stock lead. Can he survive long enough to get some extra credit? Ooh. So far, that's a meaty downer. You got to watch out. Oh, but just like that, as always, the confirms yep, into the up smash. Yep, yep. You know ZD knows how to connect One of those. the best, most consistent kill moves, and it is comboable into, so it's really nice. With, like, multiple different moves, <laughs> That's too. right. Neutral That's air, right. down air, late dash attack. Exactly. Like, oh. <laughs> yeah, 100%. Is Fox broken? Yeah, Fox is broken. Fox, is a, little, Fox is a little broken. I think he's. I think he's a little bit balanced. He's pretty balanced, but he's he's, he's got some broken moves. I will say that. But definitely. Ooh, wow. That's not gonna be. It's it's not not gonna dead. Yeah, yeah, he's not dead. He's not dead. But that is. That dead. will definitely yeah. kill you. <laughs> yeah. All okay. right. Seventeen doing a really good job of maintaining his pressure after he was able to take that first stock. And what a stark difference from game one that was. I think that you might have been right. That stage pick was was doing work for yeah, him. Yeah, absolutely. Because uh, ZD didn't have any platforms to go to. Right. Uh, 17 just able to set up that phantom and once the phantom is on stage of fd what can you do other die. than jump over and hold shield you can die you can die <laughs> you can die um so zd now uh taking it we're taking it to a game three uh i didn't see this game we're about to find out but zd I let's see her oh wow fd fury. again all Wait, right, this ZD. time it's his That's counterfeit. The thing. Yeah, so ZD does this. I, I noticed that ZD does this. He's literally just like, you think no. this is your counterfeit? Yeah. <laughs> Wrong. This is my counterfeit now. He looked 17 dead in the eyes and said, run it back. Look at me. I, I am the captain now. I'm the captain now. He's, he's taking it right back to FD. Again, like this is a stage that Fox can work on. And ZD is one of the kind of players that will be like, look, I don't care if the stage is the same. I will adapt my play style to become better. And that is enough. That is more than enough. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, right now, I mean, there's per there's percent on both of them. ZD definitely in the lead, but not by too much. So it'll be interesting to see how this right. progresses. Right. What I thought was really strong in the last game was 17's edge guarding. Yeah, uh, again, absolutely. like that's what I wanted to see. If you were able to edge guard Fox effectively, it can be so useful because it, you could take early stocks. Like Fox yeah. is kind of like, oh, ooh, okay. Ooh. Zelda a lot lighter than wow. I think she is. Yeah, apparently. yeah, that's true. That's true. It does. It does feel like that a lot of the time. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, you were saying the edge guarding, like yeah. setting up the phantom and then throwing out the Din's right. fire is is been right. catching just ZD the amount frequently. of space that Zelda can cover Ooh. on ledge is absurd. Yeah, and it really works. Like it makes Fox look like he's made of paper on the ledge. He just two framed him with neutral B. Yep. Okay, I didn't know that that had a hitbox that far down. We're all learning something new today. <laughs> Okay, the pressure hit. on shield, again, it's good, but what do you get off of it? That's the issue. Yeah. Now ZD's back in an advantage state. He's able to keep it rolling. And with how fast Fox is, again, just getting put. You know what? Never mind. Getting caught by that back air, going to close out that stock for... That back air is so good. It really... They, I mean, good is arguable. It's fast. <laughs> it is so fast, and it kills so quickly. But like the sweet spot's active for one frame. It doesn't even matter. All you need <laughs> is one frame. Fair enough. <laughs> if you get that one frame, it don't even matter. Oh, okay. okay. Getting the F smash on the neutral get up. Yeah. Only 8.8% .8 on this second stock, and this True. is looking a little rough now for 17. A full right. stock deficit against one of the most consistently hard to punish players. Yeah, absolutely. And ZD going to make it Ooh, look like that again. as well. He doesn't want to get caught by that back here there. Good neutral be there, trying to get ZD off of him a little bit there. Yeah, that definitely is a long-lasting move. However, if it's in, if it's done too aggressively, yeah. ZD will pick up on it, and he will absolutely find the punish opportunity. One hard read on that neutral B is going to be a lot of damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good neutral air to send him off stage. Oh, oh no! no! That's the worst way for the set to end. Uh. <sighs> <sighs> Took the wind out of the sails, it man. Really did. Oh, I was, wow. I was like, oh, okay, like let's see if we get a comeback. And all of us just got deflated <laughs> by that one. Like, oh my god, like by by pixels, he was so close. That was he very was so unfortunate. Close. Very unfortunate. But hey, uh, that game too. Great stuff from 17. Oh yeah, 100. That was an amazing game. Very unfortunate end to game three. We would have it would have been exciting to see a bit of a uh, comeback to start to mount up, but. True. Unfortunately, not in the cards for tonight.